What's up, Rube? It's Little Big Robots back with Dog Hair Central. It's too early in the day. I'm trying to get through some um, reviews. This time, I'm going to be reviewing this really unusual uh, kit. Um, I'm going to explain basically on uh, where it came from and stuff. It makes for, if you're into the 125th scale, uh, hexagear style, um, you know, governors and stuff, it makes for kind of a neat little addition to that with some caveats. But uh, first thing I want to talk about is this thing went on sale. I had no idea what it was. I don't know who makes it or where it came from, but I can see why it's on sale after building it. But this package I wanted to talk about is just amazing. So it comes to you like in this, but of course all the sprues have, you know, the parts on them. So you can see the kit in there. Uh, and then you take it apart. And I want you to see just how cool this packaging is. And I'm not only about packaging, of course. You have to have product in that package. But the package is fantastic. So you take it like this, and then you've got... You lift, you literally lift the sprues off of there. There's the extra sword. And then I guess you've got here a little miniature display. Um, you could either use it for that or something else. I wish this was kind of different, but you could easily just fold that, fold that down. But not only that, <clears throat> excuse me, but the instructions for the actual bot are inside this package. But this cardstock is really well done to where you're not unfolding something and tearing it you've got the instructions which of course oh that's the extra hand get that out so you've got these <clears throat> easy to read instructions even though they're not english it's pretty basic stuff you know but you've got this nice display but i just i love any toy you all know me i love any toy line that that provides you with a nice display um i think that if more toy lines did this we as collectors and fans would be much happier people <laughs> because you just have a, a, a nice little thing that you can throw up there and it looks pretty cool and it works with anything else. So that's cool. The packaging was amazing. You simply then take apart the sprues like this. You see how they stack in there? I mean, it's kind of over-designed. It's a little bit over-designed for what the kit is and then you build the kit from there. Really, really simple. Now, the kit itself is interesting. It looks like a governor. I only got it because it was like 10 bucks, 8 bucks, something like that. I think it was 10 or 11 bucks, actually. I didn't know much about it. I didn't look up any other reviews. It's very tight. Once you get it together, everything is really tight. Much more than like a governor, which can be super loose and kind of just floppy almost. The only, only issue that would prevent me from saying, go get this at regular cost. If you like the look of it, yeah, go get it. If you want just kind of an interesting looking knight figure alongside your other governors and stuff there's some really nice details in there if you want something to kit bash or paint the arms do not bend at the elbow there's no bending at the elbow so you have the star wars level <laughs> five point articulation head except for the for the except for the legs moving there's no bending at the elbow and i as i built it and i was like this doesn't bend at the elbow look at that there's no movement in the elbow at all i thought how much more engineering would it be just to make that bend? It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, this is really cool, and it's a cool-looking figure, so you're really making more of a statue. So I'm sure that a lot of people got this and built it, and the word got around that, oh, that's a cool-looking, you know, looks like it could go with my governors or whatever. Um, oh, there with the hand, the extra hand. Now I've got to dig that out. It goes into my windowsill from here. Um, and built it, and the word got around, yeah, but you can't really pose it's more of a statue so it looks cool you know you st oh look at that fell apart there you go um you know it goes on your on your on your shelf next to your governor's it looks cool it's kind of an interesting piece people go oh, what is that governor you're like it's not a governor it's some knockoff thing uh, but it's it's just a governor is amazingly flexible let me grab one real quick i'll show you where is the governor well, wow, I'm, I'm missing a governor. Um, so, for example, here's this big shield knight guy. You know, and they look kind of have a similar look. You can see that. So you can see how on the shelf that would look cool. But this guy, you can... Now, granted, it's finicky. It's, it, you know, you, you need a good pair of tweezers to pose this guy. 
but you can do all this crazy stuff with him. He can be kicking, he can be running, he can be doing all sorts of stuff. Whereas this guy does none of that. His legs bend a little bit, they rotate a bit, and that's it. I'm not like, again, I'm not a huge, it has to have articulation guy, but I don't understand why they just couldn't have made, even if just those bent forward or back, not even spun, just forward a little bit, so you could pose it just a bit different, it would have been worth the normal price. But as it is now, only grab it on sale. It's sold out on a Gundam store, USA Gundam store, where I originally bought it. It sold out really quick. I wish you would have grabbed two just because this is some great kit bash material here. You know, you, you can do a lot with the details, kind of like a governor. has these stickers on here, which are a bit annoying, but oops. But you can definitely uh, change that. You can take those off stickers on the, on the sword. You get an extra sword, which you might be able to use with uh, one of your governors. I don't, I'm not a big sword guy. In fact, I hate big swords. I just think they're so dorky. But if you're into it, there you go. And then an extra hand, which went that way and off my side. I've got to pick that up off the ground. Um, pretty cool. The packaging itself, the building process is okay. But the packaging and the way it looks just sitting on your shelf makes it worth the, the discounted price. Other than that, I would not buy it. Um, but it's a cool looking, you know, there you go. It's kind of cool looking. Not bad. Enjoy. Have a good one.